Hello my friends, Derek here from Bomb Socks with more Bomb Bites, where we feast upon the words of Christ one bite at a time. So we're concluding this week here, so as we spent the entire time talking about parables and wonderful parables about the kingdom, um, I want to kind of switch gears and head over to Luke chapter 8. Just the first three verses teach some wonderful principles, and the Come Follow Me resource really talks about that as well. Um, but as you get into there, it talks about how it came to pass afterward that Jesus went throughout every city and village, preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. And certain women, which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, you've got Mary, called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. In fact, the Chosen has spent a great deal of time kind of developing that idea to start off the series. And Joanna, the wife of Husa, Herod's uh, steward, and Susanna, and many others which ministered unto him of their substance. So what you've got here, oftentimes when we're thinking about Jesus out out there, you know, traveling around, we often see pictures of him just, you know, just a bunch of dudes together. And I appreciate the fact, and again, The Chosen has done a very good job with this, of showing that there were women with him who were ministering unto him and taking the time to be able to learn and also to bless people's lives and bless the life of the Savior and the, and the apostles with this as well. Well, in the Come Follow Me resource, it says, female disciples traveled with Jesus and the Twelve, learning from Jesus spiritually and serving him temporally. In addition to receiving Jesus' ministering, the glad tidings of his gospel and the blessings of his healing power, these women ministered to him, imparting their substance and their devotion. And one of the things it says here, it reminds us of a wonderful talk. It says, women followed the Savior and bore powerful testimony of him. Uh, Sister Linda K. Burton, who was the General Relief Society president back in 2017, gave a wonderful talk called Certain Women, referring to that reference there in Luke chapter 8, verse 2. And it's also referenced over in Luke chapter 24, verse 22, where it says, Certain women also of our company made us astonished and were early at the sepulcher. That sounds about right, right? The dudes are dragging their feet. The women, the certain women are there early. So back to this talk from Sister Burton, where she, it was called Certain Women. First of all, it's a wonderful talk to go back and read over. It's awesome. I remember watching it. It was, it was a women's conference, but I was sitting down watching this and, and I took some notes and I thought this was so interesting. She she said, I have read and passed over the seemingly remarkable expression, certain women, numerous times before. But recently, as I pondered more carefully, those words seem to jump off of the page. Consider these synonyms of one meaning of the word certain as connected to faithful certain women. Convinced, positive, confident, firm, definite, assured, and dependable. Now, in the footnote of that talk, it says, in English, the word certain has a second meaning of a selection of or a variety of, but it is the meaning of assurance, confidence, and faithfulness that I most wish to emphasize today. And she goes through and she gives wonderful examples in this talk. She talks about the woman at the well, the unnamed woman at the well, who was certain of Jesus. Uh, Martha as well, wonderful follower of Jesus, friend to Jesus, who was there as well as a certain woman. He, uh, she also talks about in church history the faithful example of Drusilla Hendricks. Uh, you got to read in Sister uh, Burton's talk about uh, Sister Hendricks. I'm a big fan of church history, so Drusilla Hendricks is a hero in every sense of the word. You got to go in and look at her story as well. So as I was studying this out, uh, I came across a wonderful and beautiful song. Uh, it was written by Shauna Edwards. Sister Shauna Edwards is a gifted songwriter, and she wrote this song called Certain Women most likely in response to what uh, Sister Burton's talk was all about. I reached out to uh, Shauna on Instagram and asked her if I could use this as part of this episode. She was so gracious and so delightful to be able to allow us to use this. So this is used with permission from Shauna Edwards. I love this song. It's a beautiful song, keeping in mind what it means to be a certain woman who ministers to the Savior and is able then to minister to others. So go ahead and watch this. Certain women served the Lord with all they had. Certain women bathed his feet with tears. And one reached out to touch him with her trembling hands. With faith he'd make her whole and silence all her fears. 
Certain women anguished while he suffered there On a cross of untold grief and pain A certain woman was the first to see the risen Lord And hear him speak her name I didn't have to walk with him or see Again, I love that song. It's a beautiful witness of the Savior and being certain of Him. Uh, back to Sister Burton's talk, she concluded this way. She said, Let us be found staying close to Him in prayer and scripture study. Let us draw ourselves near to Him by preparing for and partaking of the sacred emblems of His atoning sacrifice weekly during the ordinance of the sacrament and as we keep covenants by serving others in their times of need. Perhaps then we might be part of the certain women disciples of Jesus Christ who will celebrate his glorious return when he comes again. I am grateful for that message and I don't think that's just to the women of the church. I think it's to everybody who desires to be certain in their testimony of the Savior and I am grateful for that and I as well am certain of his goodness in my life as I'm trying to do my best to serve him. So I'm grateful for this message and I know that it's true. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks as always for sharing. We're so grateful that you do that. And if you haven't already, go check out our amazingly comfortable gospel themed socks at bombsocks.com. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Godspeed. Bye-bye.